The question of iteration over the elements and stopping is so common that I actually have a Cypress Recurse plugin. And instead of iterating over each element, it actually allows you to do something while the condition is false. It was so matching to the Cypress Recurse that I implemented the each inside the Cypress Recurse plugin. So let's try and use it. I will install the plugin Cypress Recurse. And then in the spec, I'll import each function from Cypress Recurse. And now let's look at the old test. What do we have? I'm just going to copy the body and we'll adjust it a little bit. We don't need anything here. And instead of using sci each command, we'll say then each. And this each comes from Cypress Recurse. And it takes at least one argument, maybe optionally two. The one argument is just a function just like this callback. And let's try it. I'm going to take the callback, which is all the way up here. Okay. And we will move then, we'll remove console, we'll remove all this. And here we need extra parentheses. Okay, well, right now it just iterates and clicks on the buttons. Perfect. So now let's implement the condition when to stop iteration. It should stop when this number is 7. So let's remove this dot then, and instead we'll add a second parameter right here. And this is the value that's yielded from the first function. So the first function clicks on the button, gets the text of the cell, converts it to a number, and then gives it, and it's passed to the second function. And the second function is nothing but a predicate. And it tells each when to stop when it's 7. So let's see now. Okay, 7, and it stopped. Let's try it again. 7 stopped immediately. Still going. 7, and it stopped. So check out Cypress Recurse. It includes a recursive iteration for iterating over all elements in a collection.